um, I remember when I first got back, uh, we, in, the war in Vietnam was such that we all came back alone. Uh, your D road, they call it, your D road date came, and it was time for you to go home, and, and, and it was all different for everyone, depending on when you joined or when you got drafted. So um, mine came, and I'm, now I'm out of here. And, and I went from the jungles of Vietnam um, to the airport in San Diego overnight, you know. So I, ha I had a girlfriend pick me up, and the first thing she asked me is if I killed anyone. And I killed anyone. And you know, I knew that I was going to be asked that question. But it came out so matter of fact from her. And it was the first thing. It wasn't welcome home. It wasn't anything that I would hope to expect. It was different. And it was the worst thing. So I said, no, of course not. And then she asked, well, were you fighting? Were you in any danger? Were you away from all of that? And I didn't want to alert her to really what I had been through. So of course I said, no, 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 I was safe. I, everything was fine. So she got upset, angry. Then why didn't you write? We thought you were dead. You know, why didn't you let us know what was going on, that you were safe? And I was just sitting there listening to her, and the reality was is that I was in danger every single day. I was not safe. There were things going on around me that were just incomprehensible. And I had to go through it. And now here I am. So she said, uh, you know, you're really quiet. And I said, yeah, well, you know, I'm really tired. And she said, well, you've changed. And I said, oh, really, you think so? And trust me when I say that I was aware of the fact that I had changed dramatically. And the changes in me were extremely uncomfortable. That's about all I can describe them as. They were, I was now this young 21-year-old guy, and I felt like I was 40. So I had changed. I couldn't remember really what I was like anymore. I didn't know if I had a sense of humor, because I, I didn't have one now. Uh, I didn't know if I had been animated or, you know, or, or a fun-loving guy, because I didn't feel like I was now. And, and then I remembered that I probably was. But that guy was gone. So. The dichotomy of all this is that I couldn't tell anyone that I was a warrior. I had been, been Christian, a combatant. I was as tough as nails, and I did my job, and I was this full-on warrior. But I couldn't say it. I couldn't tell anybody that. The dichotomy was that maybe if I told somebody that, that I had killed, that I I was this warrior, but they wouldn't allow me to be with them, allow me back into the tribe. And I wanted to come home. I wanted to come home badly. So I remember her saying, well, you know, you better get it together. I'm going to stop for some coffee because we're going to have a party for you. Are you up for that, she said. And I said, yeah, sure. But I absolutely was not. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to see anyone. But I knew that I was going to have to. All I really wanted to do was just sleep. But I, but I knew I couldn't. My adrenaline, my blood was rushing, and, and I was vigilant, and I was looking around, and I, I just knew that I wouldn't be able to sleep. So when would I ever rest? I don't know. I guess. I could only wait that one out. All I wanted everybody to do was just leave me alone for just a little while and see if I couldn't get it back together again. <laughs>